When I moved here in high school, well, of course, everyone talked about Mount Sequoia and the going to church camp and the cross. The cross is so important. So that's how I got acquainted with it. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see, Craig and I moved here. Craig grew up here and went to camps at Mount Sequoia. Well, his mom went to camp here at Mount Sequoia. And so being members of Central United Methodist Church, you become familiar with Mount Sequoia and all the programs that Mount Sequoia offered for, for our kids. Um, Craig and I raised three boys um, through Central and we had Easter egg hunts up here. Vacation, I taught so many vacation Bible yeah. school classes at, in Martin, in the yeah. Martin area. Mm -hmm. And um, just fun and games up here, as well as community events. Um, when I taught at the high school, we used to have events up here, you know, meetings and things like that. So I became familiar with Mount Sequoia then. So Mount Sequoia has always been important. And I do know that when Craig would bring me up to Fayetteville, when we, we were students at Baylor, yeah. and he said, you got to come see Fayetteville. I'm uh -huh. like, well, I'm a Dallas girl. You know, yeah, but you got to come up to Fayetteville. Yeah. So where would he bring me? Uh, Mount yes. Sequoia to the cross. Right. He said, "This is the view," and yeah. and um, so anyway, that that's kind of the background, you know, yeah. of yeah. when I think of my history with Mount Sequoia. Mm -hmm. My children came here for all those camps too. Mm -hmm. If you were in the Methodist Church in those days, you got to teach up here and you got to come and help and I remember they had a wonderful sandbox and the children loved the big <laughs> sandbox and you know they came home full of sand. <laughs> that's right. Well it was close to a beach. Yeah, you yeah, know. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And tell us about your home. Well, yes, and then... Um, and when did y'all buy when, that? I'm uh, My husband Carl had bought that house about 19... 69 just because he liked it it was rental property and then we kept it rented all those years that was an interesting experience one person lived there 13 years another person lived there seven years but it was in really bad shape and so when we came back from being out of state i said carl we have to either fix it up we have to sell it or we have to push it off the mountain because it was an embarrassment. <laughs> so my daughter, Sally, fixed it up for us. And we used it as a second home for a long time. It had a wonderful view. Oh, beautiful view. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it was gorgeous. Sally's an architect. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Sally. So the two of you are in charge of Friends of Mount Sequoia. So how did that come about? And what motivated you two to start that? <laughs> I giggle because I remember the phone call from Margaret. Laura, can I come and visit with you about a project? And I was like, okay, come on over. I think I put you off a little bit. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> but she she knew where to find me. Pers persistent. She was strong. very persistent. That's right. That's right. And I, so I knew a good thing when I saw it. So she came, so she came to the store. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she knows how to do it. <laughs> Just nice, oh. light conversation. Yeah. We sat yeah. down, and she told me about her vision about yeah. bringing back because this was something that had occurred previously. Yeah. Friends of Mount Sequoia. Yeah. And she wanted it to happen again. That's right. And she was taking my arm and twisting it um, of why she wanted me to be to be a part of it. And I didn't say yes at the beginning, did I? No, you didn't. No. She put us off several months. I did. Oh, several months. I did. And so, which friends of mine would say, well, that was a big step for you, Laura. Yeah. So anyway, it but, uh, and I'm so glad. Yeah. I did. yeah, but, but we did, we, I said, really, I've got some other things that I want yes. to complete, wanted to finish. that I wanted to finish Bye. and I promise I'll get back with you. So yeah. we and got, she did. and I did. And we're having a good time. And we're having a good time. Mm -hmm. But uh, I had seen friends group work in before, when I was in Little Rock and worked at the Arkansas Art Center, we had a friends group that had done wonderful things for that institution. And then the various, I worked at a hospital and we had a friends group. And 
they all, they always say, oh, I'm not going to raise money. But then when they get a project they love, they mm -hmm. do help you raise mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. you know? and, so, and they do wonderful things. And friends here are moving forward. We yeah. are doing a lot. Mm -hmm. So what are your goals in the Friends Group? What are your goals for that? Our goals are to support Mount Sequoia, mm -hmm. to support uh, the staff mm -hmm. and the needs here and try to help bring it back alive to the community. Mm -hmm. And I also think, you know, the more people you invite, yes. then they inv they yeah. get excited about mm -hmm. it. They invite their friends. Yes. And, you know, fun, that's, that's mm -hmm. what giving to any organization is about. It's about relationships yeah. and mm -hmm. um, getting to be a part right. of something that is bigger mm -hmm. than themselves. And that's mm -hmm. so important to mm -hmm. not only Fayetteville, but mm -hmm. the whole state. Of that's Arkansas. right. Mm -hmm. So what do you see for the future of Mount Sequoia? What are some things that you're hopeful that will happen mm. with the friends group and along with the staff? Mm -hmm. Some long-term goals, some short-term goals? Just mm -hmm. kind of talk about those things. Mm -hmm. Well, I would like to see the mountain brought back to what it once was, which is a very vibrant place. Mm -hmm. I know it will take a large infusion of money and manpower and woman power mm -hmm. to get that done. But I think it can be done. Mm -hmm. People really love Mount Sequoia. I do. And they want it to thrive and to do well. Mm -hmm. And I see it being an important part of Fayetteville. I think it is now for mm -hmm. most of the residents. Mm -hmm. But an even more important part that is doing exciting things. I, I agree. Yeah. You know, what I envision is... A place that's come alive and if you look at our mission statement it's about this place this beautiful land that we've that we've been given there are not that many places inside a city on top of a mountain that anyone can go to and find comfort see people and as our mission says get in touch with your spirit whatever that is for that person but um, it's such a gift, mm -hmm. and that's what I see as the future, that we continue to bring in friends, bring in donors um, that want to be a part of the mountain, that find projects that they want to do, whether it's upgrading cottages or putting money into our beautiful Wesley, historic Wesley building or the project we're doing right now because of generous gifts for the Parker, for Parker, yeah. and which that building is almost 100 years old, but we're bringing new life into it. And, and that's what I see. You know, the, the gardens having flowers again. Yeah. If, if it's yeah. the deer that I think are more the problems than anything. But, um, but just right now you drive up today and I hear kids mm -hmm. having fun and laughter yeah. And that's what I want to see right. continue, and yeah. I want to see it every day. That's right. And I know that friends' um, daughters have gotten married up here. I want mm -hmm. to see weddings up here. I want to yeah. see reunions up here. I want to be able to drive up and have it be hard to find a parking space. Mm -hmm. And that all the buildings look in pristine condition. And um, and the grounds are and, manicured. And the grounds are manicured. Yes. And, mm -hmm. you know, but that takes time. And, and that money. takes money. Mm -hmm. And so what we want to do is just share the message. I think you have to have enthusiasm mm -hmm. for to get things done. Mm -hmm. And if you have the enthusiasm, mm -hmm. I think it will be accomplished. It will. Mm -hmm. Look at that kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had another question, and it escaped me. Because Laura knows I ask lots of questions. She does. <laughs> what? Then? Ask lots. She yeah. likes okay, to ask lots. So the yeah. friends committees, there are several committees, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what has happened within those committees that has progressed with the, the vision according to the marketing budget uh -huh. and all that? Mm -hmm. How have y'all been able to work those volunteers in meeting those goals and helping mm -hmm. the staff? That, that is a good question. It's something, it's still a work in progress. It mm -hmm. is a work in progress. Mm -hmm. You know, you get, you start off strong and you have people come and then it takes a while to get things done and then you mm -hmm. lose some people yeah. and just try and gain them back. But yes, we have um, the um, the hundredth birthday celebration committee, mm -hmm. and that's what this wonderful video is yeah. coming from, mm -hmm. as well as getting ready for our hundredth birthday, which will be in twenty twenty three. I mean, that's just around the corner, and the celebrations that we'll mm -hmm. have. 
we have a, and go ahead. And friends really have, you and your group have really made the video possible. That's right. Without you know, the Friends yeah. at Mount Sequoia, yeah. Yeah. which y'all are uh, a yeah. part of, yeah. we wouldn't be having this. And the culinary thing, address that. The, the it's culinary. It's in our, our vision. You it's know, in our vision. Study mm -hmm. done with the a vision mm -hmm. and we're marking things off the vision that's right we are we're making culinary. sure that we are following yeah. the guidelines yeah. that they that they came up with yeah. and because it's a great plan mm -hmm. and not it only is. the staff approved mm -hmm. it but the board approved it mm -hmm. and um, invested and money and the friends it. are excited yeah. about it because yeah. it's nice mm -hmm. to have a plan mm -hmm. and so we've got um, we've got the um, ambassadors mm -hmm. and that they will take this video and take it out to um, organizations mm -hmm. to help bring awareness create friends mm -hmm. and hopefully they'll be willing to donate to to a purpose yeah. the Parker kitchen um, redo is only possible because of the friends of Mount Sequoia and that came from the inspiration committee mm -hmm. what are some things that we want to do to improve mm -hmm. um, our facilities mm -hmm. and that those donations and that that vision yes. um, as well as having an incredible chef justice um, now on staff that can make some of the vision happen with with the uh, with the new yeah, facility. And I think he is making it happen. He is. There are uh, dinners taking place, different kinds yes. of activities. Mm -hmm. He has things planned for the year, and that would not have been possible without the friend. Yes, he uh, needed have that kitchen. He yes. needs it. As all yes. Uh huh. And then our our future goals is to improve the dining hall. Mm -hmm. um, make it. Make it current mm -hmm. so that justice can have large dinners, so that weddings can have a beautiful venue for a large reception, mm -hmm. okay? Um, so that's something. The, the bishop, the, the, what I consider the bridal house, mm -hmm. how can we make improvements yeah. to that? Mm -hmm. And that's all coming from friends that mm -hmm. really yes. see that as they're passionate about it, yeah. Margaret, wouldn't you yes. say? They're yes. excited about yeah. it. People and, like Jennifer. Yes, yeah. uh-huh. And so mm -hmm. they, they want to come in and mm -hmm. they've got ideas and yeah. get us a plan mm -hmm. let's see what we can do and help yeah. raise money because yeah. because they've they have ownership in it that's right, right. they do mm -hmm. and they're enthusiastic and they're enthusiastic yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. is there anything else you want to add either of you you well, want to look at your notes for, uh, for, uh, this for this video yes there is okay. i would like to say and maybe i should have said this in the beginning mm -hmm. that, <laughs> that, that, yeah uh, i think that mount sequoia is such a constant in people's lives that mm -hmm. have grown up here mm -hmm. or have moved here. Mm -hmm. I had someone say to me just this week, we were talking about the mountain, and she said, you know, every time I come home to Fayetteville, one of the things I want to do first is drive up on the mountain, drive around, stop at the cross, look at the view, look at the beautiful grounds on the mountain she said it's a magical place mm -hmm. and i've used that word too and i think that is very important to people in this town mm -hmm. they love to come to the mountain it's just here the cross my goodness what well, they love that cross mm -hmm. i'm telling you mm -hmm. yeah i think it's the beauty and the calmness of the cross and they want to come back to it mm -hmm. it's home yeah it you is. Know? and everybody in town a lot of people in Northwest Arkansas use pictures of the cross in their public. Mm -hmm. They do. I mean, it is identified mm -hmm. with this region mm -hmm. of the state. It is. I just, for me, I know I'm not being interviewed, but let me just say yes. this. I just see the possibilities. Yes. Mm -hmm. About how it could be a community mountain and mm -hmm. used for more than what it is now. Mm -hmm. Does that exactly. Make sense? Uh -huh. yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know it takes time and money. It does. But, but it's mm -hmm. also getting the message out. And mm -hmm. that's what I hope this video will do, as well as just going and, and talking to people yes. and sharing. Yeah. There mm -hmm. are still many people that think we're still a Methodist camp. Yeah. I mean, yeah. over the mm -hmm. last couple of years, yeah. it's fewer and fewer, mm -hmm. but still yeah. many people think we're part of the Methodist yeah. church, and we're not. And so, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's our history. We mm -hmm. wouldn't have this mountain. Yeah without the Methodist Church. That's right. I mean, we yeah. wouldn't have this place. That's right. So we cannot, um, you know, forget yeah, our history, our roots. Our, right. our roots. That's right. And we, we mm -hmm. need to make sure we don't, um, mm -hmm. don't 
forget that yeah. and um, in going to our future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are so many possibilities and it does take time. But I do think that if we continue to share the message, if we're enthusiastic and get out in the yeah. community and, and mm -hmm. share and um, people want to be involved, they want yeah, ownership right. in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay.